In this video, we're going to learn everything about sorting layers and sorting order in Unity. This is how you define the order in which 2D sprites are rendered and what shows up on top. Let's begin! Okay, so this is a very simple, very quick video just explaining how sorting layers and sorting order works. Now over here I have a bunch of sprites. I have a background, then a building, and a health bar. And on each sprite render component, over here you can see two fields, one for the sorting layer and one for the order in layer. Now in a 3D game, the position of the objects is what defines which object is on top of which. So an object closer to the camera shows up in front of another object that is further away. However, in a 2D game, we don't really have any depth. So how we define which objects are in front and which are behind is with sorting layers. So as an example, I have some assets from my Builder Defender course. So the background, there's a building, and there's also a simple health bar. Now, we always want the background to be behind the buildings, and we always want the health bar to be on top. Now, right now, we can't even see the health bar even though it isn't there. That is because right now, everything is on the exact same sorting layer and also on the same sorting order. So with this, what we have is non-deterministic behavior, meaning that sometimes, for example, the health bar won't be on top, and sometimes the background won't be on top. Now, we want our game to always work the same, so let's fix this and organize everything. Now if we click over here on the sorting layer, we have this button to add new sorting layer. And if we click, yeah, there you go, we go into this window showing our tags and layers. And right away we can see that we have the default layer. And we can click on this button in order to add a bunch more. So let's add one for the background and another one for the top. And now in here we can also drag in order to modify the order. And now this order in here represents the rendering order. So first the one on top gets rendered then the one underneath gets rendered on top of the first one, and so on. So for example, the background is meant to be behind everything, so here we put it on top of the list, meaning that the background will be rendered first, then the default gets rendered, and then the top gets rendered. So the top will be on top of everything. All right, so that's how you add sorting layers. Now go into the sprite, and here let's change the background from sorting layer from default and put it on the background. And as soon as we do, we see that the lights go out, so the object is still there, but it's completely black, now, this is related to the fact that in this demo scene, I'm using the 2D renderer. So over here on the project files, I'm using this universal render pipeline asset, and it's using a 2D renderer. So here it is. And then over here on the scene, I'm using a global light 2D. So the reason why everything went black is because this light by default only targets the default sorting layer. So all of the other layers are not being affected by this light. So as we move the background to a different layer, the light no longer gets applied to it. So over here, just select, instead of just hitting the default, let's hit all of our layers. And yep, there you go, now the light is correctly being applied to all objects. All right, so that's the background sorting. Then over here on the building, we're going to leave it on the sorting layer default. Okay, that makes sense. And lastly, over here we have a health bar, and for this one we want to show up on top, so let's just select the top. All right, so everything is now organized. We've got our background, then we've got buildings, and then we've got the health bar on top of everything. So this is what sorting layers do. They define which objects show up on top of which. So first we define all the layers, then we define the order in which they are rendered, and then we set individually each object in its own sorting layer. Now the other field that we see in here is the order in layer, or the sorting order. So this is how you sort things within the same layer. So for example, let's duplicate this building. And there it is, now we have two buildings. And both of them are on the exact same sorting layer, and both of them also on the exact same sorting order. Now, if we leave them on the same sorting order and same sorting layer, then we have the issue that we saw previously, which is that the behavior is not deterministic. So sometimes this one will be on top and sometimes this one will. Now, we want our game to always behave in the same way, so make sure you always use different orders. So here, if the wood harvester is on sorting in order 0, then over here on the tower building, we put it on 10 in order to show up above. So with this, it's on top, and if we set it to minus 10, then yep, now it's behind that one. So the sorting order is how you sort objects within that same layer. And another thing about the sorting order is how this is stored in a short. So that means that you can only use whole numbers, you can't use decimals. And also, if you try putting a massive number and click enter, yep, there you go, it clamps down to 32,000. So this is the maximum value. And also the same thing, if you go into a massive negative number, yep, it clamps down into minus 32,000. So the sorting order must be between minus 32,000 and plus 32,000, meaning that you have a total of 65,000 possible values to sort within each layer. And of course, each layer has its own sorting order. So for example, if I put this tower object on plus 32,000, and then the health bar, let's move it on top, 
and it's on the top starting layer and put it at minus 32,000. Yep, there you go, this one is now on top. So an object on default at plus 32,000 will still be behind an object on top with minus 32,000. And since we're talking about sorting, let me just quickly mention how sorting works in the UI. So sorting in the UI is different. Over here I have an image and as you can see, there's no sorting order or sorting layer anywhere. Now instead, the sorting in the UI is handled by the position in the hierarchy. So over here I have the canvas with two squares, a white square and a blue square. And down here, if I drag the blue image and put it up here on top on the hierarchy, yep, there you go, now it shows up behind. So the sorting order here works similar to, like I said, for the sorting layers. So going from top to bottom, you have the rendering order. So first this object renders, then this one gets rendered on top, and so on. And if you have objects with children, then the same logic applies. So first the parrot gets rendered, and then the child gets rendered. Also related to that is the world space canvas. Now I covered this in detail in another video, but essentially you can create a new UI canvas. And over here, you can get rid of these two components. And then on this option, instead of choosing screen space overlay, you can choose world space. And when you do, you can see a field for the sorting layer and the sorting order. So we can just place this in our world. And then inside, let's say we create an image. So now you can set the canvas, for example, put it on top and now it shows up on top of everything and put it on default and behind it. And yep, it's behind both buildings. So this is yet another place where sorting layers are used. And lastly, just to clarify one thing here, which is sorting layers are different from regular layers. When you select a game object, up here we see a layer field, and you can see all these layers, and you can even click on add layer, and yep, it goes to the same as the previous one. So we have a list of sorting layers, and over here, a list of layers. So these ones are used in many places, like for example, camera rendering, physics collisions, and so on, but they have absolutely no relation to the sorting layers, which define how 2D objects are sorted. So they have similar names, but are completely different things. All right, so that's everything about sorting layers and sorting order. When working on 2D games, this is extremely important knowledge to have. Always keep your sprites nicely organized into specific layers rather than having all of them just on default. So that's sorting layers and sorting order. If you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing. This video is made possible thanks to these awesome supporters. Go to patreon.com slash unitycodemonkey to get some perks and help keep the videos free for everyone. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. Subscribe to the channel for more Unity tutorials, post any questions in the comments, and I'll see you next time.